of the excavation. We need to excavate quickly, and you need to know what you're doing, and that's going to be a problem, but... <laughs> with the clay under it. It goes black and red and stuff and so forth. So obviously this was here. It had been here before they started cutting in through it and setting in the storage bin. Just notice that. There are a lot of activity and we have to phase correctly those activities. Obviously there is a similarity between this rim and that rim. There is the same kind of material at the same level, same sort of construction. Something is going on. These things are probably built at the same time. Maybe they even had the uh, same functions. Maybe there was a... And then on top of that, this was put later on. This whole thing was put on top of that. So this is from a later phase. This is early phase. So we need to distinguish those phases when we dig. We cannot just dig in one place and go through. We have to know 
uh, or in, in the whole house if we can. This is very difficult. This is the most difficult thing. We have to find out uh, the, the contemporary floors. And um, so that's that. You have a little, this internal wall that was dividing this area, which uh, was used as a storage area. Here we had gone through a series of uh, remains of the bins, big bins made of clay, in which they were storing grain or other food. But we have removed that. But this is the remain, this wall remains still in here. So it was dividing that from the central place, central um, part of the room. This is the remains of the interior wall, which was on the, like that wall. It was running up to here, like that. And, and then in the middle, in the very, very late stage of the house, we had something that we call screen wall, which was put in as a screen to divide that part, that room from this room. And it was very elaborately decorated, plastered with white, and it had a relief on that surface, you know, so that people from this room could see. But that, we have removed that, and um, so now we are removing the interior walls because they're sitting on top of these. So it's sitting, this wall is sitting on top of this platform. So this platform had been here before, and this was put on top. And so we have to remove this first and then get down to this level. So this is one of our tasks very soon. And um, then uh, I was telling you about the, the ovens, remember? The, the choir installations here in the kitchen area. So we, this was one at one floor in the house, and then another one, another one, another one. So as they were plastering over, they would, they would plaster over and then build another little fire installation in this, on this platform. This was a big fire installation, or an oven that had a superstructure and had a little holes around it, like one centimeter di diameter holes that were, you know, I, I don't know if any of you have ever seen or read about it, the ovens that have, like bread ovens that have like, this superstructure. So that was that. And, um, and you see what I was telling you about the kitchen area, about all this black and red stuff, a lot of ash, a lot of uh, specks of charcoal, a lot of um, broke fragments of pottery, broken stone, clay balls. It's all in this area. And this is where the entrance into the house was. And this, this is where, the f where food cooking was taking place. Now that is, you see here this line, that's the line of the floor, of the floor. It went like that. And then you have this threshold here that, that was dividing what we call dirty floor, kitchen floor, from the clean floor, which was here in the middle of the room. Now there are nuances between the two, more than just dirty and clean, but for now, let's leave it at that. And, um, And then you have these nice white floor platforms. See how white it is, and uh, thick layers of floors. If you look here, see how thick they are, solid, solid. Um, and of course, burials. All right. And then you can see inside uh, the post retrieval plates, you can see these layers. This is a floor, this is an earlier floor, this white line. And this, another white line, uh, line under it is even earlier floor. And then under it we have midden, something that was here before the house was built. Um, can I ask a question, Maria? Yeah. That, um, that's sort of raised in the far corner over there, to the northwest there. What is that? Or southwest? This That's southwest? Is that what you're right behind me? I can't read <laughs> Canadian, you think backwards, but anyway. Uh, so the south, uh, east. east then, what is that? Is that? This here? Yeah, because that's 
This was a platform, a step platform. Okay, and where? The, this is an earlier platform that was nice and, and flat and smooth like these ones. But then they, they made uh, cuts in the platforms for, for some reason. They had to cut this in, probably because it was heavily damaged. So what they did, they cut out the damaged uh, part of the platform. They fill it in with new clay. And they, then they plaster on top of it. And so this is the, the floor on top of that floor. And then on top of the whole platform that then, it ju they just built and built and built the layers of floors of the fl platform. And eventually, the platform, the top was here. So it is, it's just in bad shape because it was heavily used area. Especially because it was close to the oven, to the entrance. Here, most likely, there was a ho there was a hole for um, a post, something to do with the entrance area, and uh, so they did cut into the oven in this area. So there was another little cut in here. I don't know what for, but they made it in prehistory, and it was just. Um, you know, heavily used and heavily damaged. That's why it looks like this. Um, all right. So what do we do? <laughs> so, before I give you guys particular tasks, we have to start opening new units and you will get difficult tasks to excavate parts of this earth. But I, I need to get ready for that. Um, and also you need to get ready for that. And you need to go over uh, the administration of the paperwork. Sharpened or if they're sharp, okay. 
and then you need to do some scraping. And I'll show you how to do that in a couple, a couple areas. I'll just get my trowel. Here, if I come closer so that you can see, this all looks fine, but actually, if you go into this and scrape it, you will see something else. Something of that sort. Now, if you, once you clean this whole area, you will see that there are many, many things going on on this floor that seemed very uniform before. So what we need to to see is that this is this is the bricks. This is the orange bricks, obviously. Um, this is the, the fragment of white plaster. These bricks are going to continue. But something is going on here. I don't know whether they will continue all the way there or they will stop at some point, point because something else is sitting on top of it. However, you also need a brush here. Can you draw me that brush? You usually don't brush over the surfaces that are scraped because you are going to smear the colors and stuff. But when you're scraping hard soil such as this, it, you can use the brush here and there. Go on. What do you do with the dirt that's okay. the result? We will we'll deal with that. Okay. Uh, all right, so obviously this needs to be cleaned even more. Obviously there is a brick here. It continues still, it probably goes further. This is something that abuts the brick, or maybe even was sitting on top of it. So we need to see those relationships, because on that, it depends on that, how we dig this area. We have to always dig something that's above something else, right? Stratigraphically, in, a, in that sequence. So, so, it goes like that. So we also want to see the relationship between this wall and these features on the ground, the, the, the bricks. The only way to see that would be to scrape carefully the, the, the areas where they join or where they, you know, um, yeah, join each other or whatever is the relationship. And then we look at those. And then we decide how to go about excavating them. So it has to be all scraped that goes for this space. Not, we're not talking about that space at all at the moment. And, uh, and then we will open new units and then you begin. Um, and even then it will be difficult to decide in some instances what is what. Um, okay. So, um, let us, uh, I think John, you should come in this whole sack with uh, some protective material for the burial. So she is going to protect this area because there is a skeleton down there. We, just, we can see just a little bit of it. But she will protect this area so we can even step in it, but not step in the middle portion of it because that's where the skeleton is. And we can uh, work on this stuff and it will, the soil will go in and we'll eventually clean up the burial and we'll continue digging in that area later in the burial. So Carrie, you're going to come here, mm -hmm. and I am going, and you're going to do the scraping of this. You have, you know, you have to bury your feet in one, in two places, mm -hmm. and don't move around much. 
and you will begin with this. this. You see, this is like a step sitting on top of this, and then there's another little step here, another little step here, that's all sitting on top of this edge, this side of the oven, and we, we're not sure about the relationship. And you just <coughs> have to do the sides first, like that. And the top. So we see the colors of it. Okay, all goes like that, and then you do the side. And then you do this area. Without digging too much, but scraping necessary amount of this layer in order to see the colors and relationships. And so you continue towards this edge and you're careful with the edge because it start, it's going to start collapsing and falling in and so forth. Okay, Slobo comes here next to you. Can I? <laughs> and the platform is there. You cannot have the problem. You obviously were not here when we started talking about this. Because I said we have to excavate this oh, whole this, this area this, 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 okay. before oh. we can get to this room and continue. This is all later and sitting on top of that stuff. So just space 158 for now. So Slobo, you come in here. You begin from this area and you scrape that. We see this wall, the, the, the bricks. Then we see what we see here. And then we see the relationship of this white island to this stuff next to it and under it. You go out all the way, you go across that. There are layers of mud over here. All of that needs to be scraped. And then you're going to dig that. All of you are going later on to be removing the layers, the floor layers in the areas where you are scraping. So only when we when we scrape not the yeah. we get you get to get dig the after that. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you get to dig after that because then we can define what is what and then only then we can start digging. Mm -hmm. It's still not visible entirely what is what. And then we have a, a special uh, a truffle, so to speak, for Mr. David. Oh. Come here. <laughs> you are going to be working on this fire installation. This is the remains of the floor. Uh -huh. So you, this floor is sitting, this black yes. burnt floor is sitting on top of that. Yes. Even though you maybe don't see it right now, but it, I can tell you, it's sitting on top of that, it's sitting on top of that, it's sitting on top of that, on top of that. So this has to go out. This is a okay. later feature, and we have uh, recorded it last year, we drew it, we measured it, we photographed it, and we have now to start removing it. So what you will do, you will, you will open a unit here. So come here, and you will uh, you know, get, get your plastic bag, your unit sheet, your two labels, your uh, envelope for archive sample, all that. And then I'll show you how to remove that, and then we'll take a measurement mm -hmm. with the uh, Adriana. Mm -hmm. And that stuff. Okay? All right. All right. Now, uh, Mr. Trish. Where is he? Right behind. All right, behind. Okay. You are going to come here in this difficult place. And first of all, you're going to scrape the edges of this pit. From the top <coughs> to the bottom, all of that on the, these edges. It should look like the edges of that pit. See mm -hmm. how it is visible. So this one, this has to be same as that. 
and also this side of it. Actually, when I, you should start from the wall. Yeah. First this floor level, and then the sides, and then a little bit the bottom of it. And then we'll see how to go about it. Then after that, the next stage is uh, removing these floors in the middle, then um, uh, revealing the other edge of this fine installation. We see this edge, but we don't see this one. So we have to reveal that, see whether it exists. Then we are going to remove that and go under it. Okay, so this scraping business. Uh, we, are not going, we are not opening uh, new units for the scraping uh, because you are scraping very thin layer and because I know from experience that there is hardly anything, there is nothing in in there, in this soil, of interest. And, uh, and uh, soon after that we'll open new units and we'll start digging and then you will do the sampling and everything else. Okay. That's that We also now. planted the script in this area, here between, the pit, between this wall, this dividing wall and the oven and the pit. What was the question? Just I'm sorry, I was just curious. This area between this dividing this wall. This one? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it? We, is that going to be scraped too? That no. Not that's right a now. floor which is pretty visible and obvious to me. Okay. That is a floor. It's clean. Okay. It's a floor that goes between the oven and this wall. Okay. It went. You know, they plastered it like that. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh -huh. And like that. All right. This is what you do with the floors. You end. Mm -hmm. We plaster through like that, and uh, no, this is staying for now, and we don't need to scrape that. Okay. Now, you, John, okay, so you can get on with your preparation, so like, find a towel, you know, you minimize walking around, moving in and out, so you have to prepare everything, surround yourself with your little things, put your bucket somewhere that's not in the way, and... Now, John, you have to get you a break. And on this side, we will come in and just let me know. But you will. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 Getting up and looking on it. You know. I think it's pretty good. I think you have a In fact, my back has had this. I don't know. Maybe it could be a little bit more beneficial. Well, as we clear on this, it might be clear, but I can't think I can go down and look at the new because it's not much to so far down in one area when it's not going to be. Yeah, I didn't know what that was. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Does anybody know what this is? Where this comes from? From from there or what? I don't know. I don't know. It might have been out of here. Popped out of some. Maybe in sweeping. Mm. Okay. So these these we'll things came off the floor. Yeah, they they are going to go with the next level in the middle. Right. 